Hello and welcome to this week's episode where we're going to continue to delve into the wonderful world of cruising and also discuss your opportunity to witness an F1 race in the flesh as well as enjoy a fantastic holiday. If that interests you, keep watching Planet Cruise Weekly. Well, hello and welcome to episode 12 of Planet Cruise Weekly with myself, Keith Maynard, and Mr. Glenn Wallace. How are you? We do hope you're well, we really do. And um, it's so exciting. Thank you for all your comments, for your feedback. Please continue that. As you probably know, this is the, pretty much the only content-driven cruise show that's out there. Uh, and so we want to give you the information that you want to hear. So get in touch and let us know what you think and what you'd like to see for the future. And uh, this week, we're gonna be talking about how you can combine a cruise holiday with going to watch one of the Grand Prix events. Uh, one of the big things at the moment in the world of cruising is putting uh, together a package where you can in a sense, have your cruise holiday, and then you can go and experience one of the magnificent F1 races. You go along, and very often you can do kind of qualifying, and then you get to watch the race as well. Uh, and it's a whole kind of wonderful way of, of, of witnessing this and traveling and getting a destination I at the think, same I time. I think what it basically is, and, and listening to you know clients' feedback, is that they love the cruises. You know, they love being on a cruise, but they then want to sandwich it with something else. So that's why mm. we've introduced like a couple of days stay here and a couple of days stay there. And then now we're looking at increasing the experience and adding on extra things. So, you know, you might do a seven night cruise in around the Med and then you go to the Monaco Grand Prix for three days or we do other trips, taking in other sporting events as well. So it just packages it up quite nicely and just adds a little bit of tweaks to that holiday. Very, very exciting. So we're going to be talking about, uh, I think, the different different Grand Prix at the moment you can go and experience this way. So tell us, um, which, which, which of the ones of the Grand Prix really sticks out, first of all, for you? Which is probably the most popular one? Or I think from a British point, of view I mean the most famous race in the world is Monaco okay. Monaco Monte Carlo again if you've never been there before when you go in there as you know as well you know you can actually walk around the racetrack on a non-race day you know so the track is there it's not a laid down track but again I think it's just the history uh, the whole setup of Monaco Monte Carlo is fantastic the race in there is very difficult because the leader doesn't tend to get caught because it's very tight to get around the bends there so that's right. very very special I mean are there certain is there different ways of doing it like can you actually can you actually watch it from the harbour where do you kind of yeah, go Yeah, so to for example, like Azamara, uh, they do a Monaco cruise, you know, you're taking it to five star plus deluxe cruising because it's a smaller ship, you can get right close into Monaco, so wow. you can actually watch it from the ship itself. Um, and other ships, obviously a little bit bigger, so you'd be tending in and then getting the tickets in, but they package it all together. I mean, if you want to go further afield, we do do places over to Melbourne, in, in uh, Australia, where I've been there myself when the, the Grand Prix been set up there. The other one as well, again, we've been there before from the port of Port Klang, you go into Kuala Lumpur. So again, you've got the Petronas Towers there at the Malaysian Grand Prix. So you can group this all together. And of course, the other one, which is very, very popular, and it is one of the homes at the moment of Formula One, is in Abu Dhabi, the futuristic world of Abu Dhabi. They've got Ferrari well there themselves. Singapore is another good one as well. Again, if you've never been to Singapore before, again, great places to go and see there. You can do the Grand Prix as well. Another one that's a little bit special, and it doesn't get mentioned as much, is the Canadian Grand Prix. And this is a little bit special. We've got a package made up now where you go over to Montreal, you have the Canadian Grand Prix, and then from there, you make your way down on the Amtrak train down to New York, three or four days stay in New York, and then pick up the ship and head down to the Bahamas. So imagine that as a three centre cruise. That'd be absolutely fantastic. It would be amazing. Now, I believe it's one that we haven't actually included that is really important because some of our team recently did a hosted experience and that's to the Spanish Grand Prix which is Barcelona or Barcelona. Yeah they, they on the ships with some of our clients and then they came back into Barcelona. Tell you what, I'm going to replace you with someone who was actually there. Paul, oh, it's your first time in front of the camera, because normally you're the man behind it, aren't you? Yeah, normally I'm that side, and... Uh, bit strange, bit weird. Bit weird, yeah, bit well, weird. Take it in your stride, mate, you're doing very well already. Okay, now tell us, you were recently filming, weren't you, as part of the hosted Barcelona Spanish Grand Prix cruise experience. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, it was fantastic. And it was my first time in Barcelona, and the opportunity to go to the Grand Prix as well, was just, oh, it's just incredible. And the wonderful thing was, I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to think about doing anything while I was there. Everything was looked after for us. So how long, how long did it take you to get from the, the ship? Was the ship docked up um, in Barcelona while you were there? Or did yeah, you yeah. stay in a hotel? What, how did it work? Yeah, a, a lot of our guests were, were coming off of the ship. Right. Uh, and they transferred off there and it was about, I think it's about 14 minutes 
uh, on a coach okay. up to the circuit. And that was all arranged, so you got on the coach? That was all arranged, there. yeah. Our guys were there, uh, guiding everybody off and then sort of getting them on the coaches. And then once you actually arrive at the circuit, you virtually dropped out the front door. Did you have a seat? Were you could you get a seat if you wanted to? Was it a standing experience? You know, what, what, what was at the Grand Prix. At the Grand Prix. Um, yeah. uh, you obviously you get a, a grandstand seat. Uh, they do have obviously sort of people with mobility issues, and they can obviously cater for that as well. That's good. Okay. And is it because was was yours the VIP? Because I believe it's like a VIP one that, that, that can be offered as well, which offers even more and stuff. Is that right? Or? Yeah, I, I was I was really lucky, uh, and I was given uh, gold suite tickets. So I, I was at the, uh, at the start finish line. Wow, okay. Absolutely incredible. And of course, I had everybody waiting on me hand and foot, which is <laughs> again something I'm really not used to. And but everybody was so great. All the staff were really friendly. I mean, were you there just for the race? I would say, now, speaking to some of the guests, mm. a lot of people don't realise that it's not just the Grand Prix. There are actually races that happen before the Grand Prix takes place. Oh, right, okay. Right. So, so you had uh, the, the GP3 and also the, the Porsche Super Cup as well. Oh, wow. So some people, you see the prices of the tickets, you think, oh, wow, that's, that's a, a lot of money for just one race. But it's not. It's actually, it, it is a, a day event. Right. You, you can come down and there's several races to watch. They have entertainment around the circuit as well. Great. How about food? Is, is food catered for? Yeah, there's loads of different options for food around the, around the whole circuit. So it's really clear that you had a great time on this trip, Paul, but I believe you also got some feedback from some of the other customers who were with you, yeah? Yeah, that's right. We had a little soiree on the Monday night and I managed to collar a couple of our guests to tell us what they thought. Mm. Yeah, so the F1 was something that was our, our first first time at the uh, Formula One racing, and frankly, um, we both enjoyed it so much we're going to go again. Oh, we'd be more than happy to book again. Yeah. Formula One, we were considered, it was the first time we'd attended and um, we learned so much from it and we've already made inquiries about potentially the Abu Dhabi in November. The whole thing about this is, I guess, that the guests can go and experience the Grand Prix and also get a chance to experience the destination itself, mm -hmm. in this case Barcelona. So did you get a chance to do that and if you did, what did you like about it? I did. I was very lucky on the Saturday. Um, I, I, I actually went into Barcelona and I went and I said, well, I'm familiar. But what I really recommend, there's the, the Cor de Nou Carver uh, producers. Ah, and they are, Carver Winery. Yeah, and they are the oldest Carver producing family in Spain. And they are so passionate about what they do. And you can go up there and you can have a, a, a tour of their, their winery, and see all the old presses and actually go down into the cellars and they, they take you around on a little train. And then at the end you get to sample a couple of different carvers and it's incredible. Wow, okay, good tips. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, tell you what, I, I actually don't tell Glenn this one. I actually prefer you to Glenn. So if you oh, could just yeah. stick around uh, for the next section, I'd really appreciate it. No don't problem. go anywhere. Uh, so I want to say first of all thank you for all your comments, it's so so important um, and we really do really do appreciate it. So a big thank you to all these people that got in touch. Um, Philip Perry who is uh, going on MSC for the Monaco GP, how appropriate Philip thanks very much. Stephen Harters, he said to us that he loved the Holland America Coningsdam show and he even said he might be tempted to stray from Cunard which I know for Stephen is a really big statement so we appreciate that thanks. And Greg Smith who also la loved last week's episode. Thank you very much for the great pick that you sent through. And a big hello to Mike and Sue Walsh as well, who I think may be watching Planet Cruise Weekly for the first time, but they've been big viewers of uh, the Planet Cruise show on Ideal World. So if they do want to get in touch, what are the ways they can do that? Well, of course, we've got our, our Twitter and our Facebook. And of course, you could always email us. If you're, if you're not very good with other social medias, then hello at planetcruise.co.uk. You know, let us know which Grand Prix you've been to, which ones you'd like to go to. Maybe, um, maybe we can package that together for you. Absolutely. Your feedback's always welcome. And if you want any more information about other sporting events, uh, because there are loads of great packages that go out with golf, uh, with football, we've got the World Cup in the Russia, there's, yep. one, there's ones coming up for that, the European Championships, of course, which is happening very, very soon, and then even things like uh, tennis as well, maybe going over to Australia for that uh, wonderful oh, that'd, tennis thing in Melbourne. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? So click the link there if you want more information about some of that. Finally, 
really want to show you a little clip about me enjoying a race racing car experience because I got a chance when we went and filmed on MSC yeah. to actually drive a real Formula One racing car. I think I crashed about 15 times in about four minutes. On that note, we'll say thank you very much for watching. Uh, tune in next week. Don't forget to comment and uh, enjoy your week. Thanks.